Okay, this is a um, quick unboxing and overview of this Ruger Precision Rim Fire. Comes packaged in this styrofoam. Inserts here. Here's the rifle, comes in a bag. the bag and this is how it will look so uh, let's see what's inside the box uh, first we have the of course the, uh, the actual rifle okay uh, we have the bolt we have the lock standard lock and then we also have a 15 round BX magazine, BX15 magazine. Paperwork includes uh, join the unarray, Ruger sticker, thank you, and little accessories and hardware. Uh, here we go, registration card for some, and of course uh, we have here the instruction manual for the Ruger Rimfire. The uh, regular Ruger Precision Rifle does have an AR uh, pistol grip on it that's replaceable, replaceable with any um, AR-15 style grip. The safety in the fire is a 45 uh, uh, angle throw, uh, so it has a short throw, kind of reminds me of the Seekins uh, safety. Uh, you can also um, reversible, so you can put it that uh, left if you want. You can also upgrade it with a uh, AR style safety also. The adjustable stock comes in this uh, chassis right here. It's all one piece. A little bit different than the um, other precision rifle. It comes with a little uh, adjustable lever here. Let's make sure we're on camera. So you pull that down and you could uh, adjust it up and down and the way you, you, you uh, prefer to suit you. Uh, let's put the uh, bolt. There's actually something in the bolt that we need to um, show you guys. Of course, this rifle is um, clear. It has not been fired yet. Looking down, it's safe. I'll put the bolt in it. Putting the bolt is just as simple as just sliding it in and locking, okay? Slide in and locking. So once we do that, I'm gonna turn this around so you can see things out of the way. So uh, this is how it looks, okay? So you, you go in, out, then you pull back and it pulls up to here. So this is the um, short configuration that comes pretty much like a standard 22 rim fire bolt. Now it is adjustable, and I'm going to show you what I mean by that. Uh, let's see this right here. There's a button to remove the bolt right here. Very similar to the uh, regular 22. Uh, um, similar to the regular Ruger Precision Rifle. Now there's a little band here. Well, using a screwdriver, a little flathead, you could uh, let's see here. Take this off. And what this does is, let's see if I took it off. More help here. What this does, see this is the clip that goes away. A little, little piece of metal. Uh, what this does is it, uh, it allows the bolt to travel further, simulating a short action center fire, is what uh, Ruger says. So let's see, the first time, here we go, we're gonna put it in. The first time the bolt backed up to here. Let's see what it does now going all the way back. So it gives you uh, a few more inches, I guess. So it goes all the way back. So if that's what you want to do, you have the option to do that. Comes with a threaded barrel. Really nice hand guard. Ruger marked on the hand guard also. Uh, let's see here. Also comes with the same trigger that the um, regular Ruger Precision Rifle has. Uh, to adjust the trigger, uh, there's, you stick the, an Allen wrench, it's a 5 64th, uh, I believe, 
in here in this hole and there's a screw in there and you reduce and, and um, tighten the trigger. What that does is it, it changes the rip trigger from two and a quarter pounds uh, between two and a quarter and five pounds. Okay, so let's see here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna um, check the trigger weight factory. I'm not gonna do any adjustment, I'm just gonna check the trigger weight. Also going to check the um, weight of the actual rifle to see what kind of weight it is. Stock out of the out of the box. Uh, let's see here. The bolt is in there. The clip is not in there, so that may be, I don't know, maybe tenth of an ounce, <laughs> if you want to be technical. I don't think my scale is that accurate anyways. So let's go ahead and calibrate it. Okay, let's see here what we got. Alright, it says here, 7 pounds, 2.1 ounces. We'll give it one more try. Let's go ahead and calibrate it. Try it one more time. Seven pounds, two point one ounces. That's what it weighs right out of the box. It does come with a bull barrel, which I like. And that's the reason I actually purchased it. I don't have a bull barrel 22 long rifle. Done. We're gonna check the trigger weight on it and see what it weighs right out of the factory. Let's see here, we're gonna try to get that on camera too. I'm gonna safe, let's go ahead and put it on far so we can... Before we do that, we're gonna safety check it one more time. I'm going to put it in a safe direction, okay? And we are going to uh, check the trigger pull on this. Alrighty. So on fire. Alright, let's see what we got. Hmm, take me. Let's do it one more time. Clear and ready. Two pounds, three point two ounces. Let's do it one more time. This is a very light trigger, guys. Two pound, 3.6 ounces this time. Uh, we'll try it one more time. All right, clear, ready. Two pounds, 2.2 .2 ounces. And I think the first time, let me do it one time. I think the first couple of times I might have been maybe pulling too hard and Two pounds, three ounces. So, I mean, it's a uh, pretty decent trigger. I'm not gonna adjust the, I'm not gonna adjust anything in it. Two pound, 3.5 ounces. So, uh, guys, thank you um, for watching. Hopefully this kind of maybe helped.